I'm back in Subnautica again. Yes, I am. It's been a little while. As you can probably tell, I haven't put up a new Subnautica video for a good while. It's mostly been bug fixes and such. There's a couple of new additions. New The floating islands area has been fleshed out. Uh, let me show you something else. Oh, I forgot <laughs> still have that air bladder in my inventory. Uh, it's not it's not in there. Uh, the builder. That's what I was going to show you. They've changed the builder menu. See? Now you have different categories. So you have your base category. It covers everything in there. And you have your power, which has got the solar panel. And more to come. Uh, the only thing it's missing is the power generator. That should not have been taken away. You got the modules. Which Scanning the covers Aurora. everything you Zero put in here. Detected. Lethal radiation levels Let me let her detected. finish her the little talk. Core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continue Continuing to, to monitor. monitor. Uh, there's a bug right now. If you do all blueprints cheat, it causes two fabricators to show up in your inventory. Not sure why. And now we have signs. I can't remember if I put them in here or not. Let me see. No, I didn't. Wait a minute. Oh, that sucks. I remember putting four signs in here, and they were pretty funny. But here I'll show you uh, what they do. If you want to build a sign, just. Oh, they've shrank them! Hey, nice. Okay. Okay, they used to be way bigger. So that that that's nice that they've done that. Let's see here. I just love having fun with these things. Now, there's nothing new with with the sub or the sea moth, other than you know you can change your colors, of course. And yes, this, as I forgot to mention in my last video, this is a nod to the yellow submarine, and you can change your colors of your text as well, which I can't remember if I've showed you that. Here, I'll pop inside and give you a, a view. Oh, I haven't changed that yet. So you can see name. Originally, that it was, uh, that was, it's been there for a while, but now that you can change the colors on it. They fixed this issue with the, the door moving you. You notice that it didn't continued to open like it normally does. If you stand in front of me, you open it, it just hits you and stops. So it doesn't slam your sub around anymore. They're also slower too. Um, with the workbench, we have the upgrade ability, as I showed last time, where you can create the repulsion cannon. Here's my Seamoth. Let's see what these do. Yeah, they do the same thing. They don't slam you around. Uh, don't have any whole upgrades yet. But if you if I did, if you pop them in, they'll fill the holes up here. Oh, I just noticed. There's a weird bug that's been going on for a while, but I've never had it before. If you go up to almost surface level, where the water is just inside the ship where it looks like it's just inside the ship, it'll actually make you float. And if you climb the ladder, you'll be shoved up to the top of the ceiling and you can walk around. It's an odd little thing. Now, the main thing I want to show you is the upgraded... There's a... The upgraded islands over there. There's a bug. Not sure... It has to... Some, it has something to do with foundations, but if you don't put a foundation down, 
if you save your game and come back in, the legs on your base will be missing. Uh, that's because you don't, you're not using a foundation, although you should not have to, and that's been talked about. But there's a way to fix it. If you come in and your legs are missing, deconstruct a window and then reconstruct it again. You you will have legs on your bottom level. Top level? I'm not sure. It's not it's not giving my giving me my legs back. So I should have a couple of legs stretching across the front here, and it's not doing it. So it's still a floating base. Hopefully that will be fixed in the future. But, uh, let's head over to... And I'm going to put day back on because the ship's already exploded, so it doesn't matter. Or has it? No, it hasn't. Oh, well. Big deal. It's not like I'm saving right now. A little bit of texture lagging there. Uh, oh, that's right. I want to show you the new upgrade with the propulsion, the repulsion cannon. It has some new animation to it. Uh, if you'll notice when I shoot it here, there'll be like a cone that comes out. See that graphical cone? It's really cool. I love playing with this thing. Oh, we still got the FO3 freeze. Oh, I thought that was fixed. It's gone! Hello, Peeper. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you didn't go too far. Uh, they fixed the bug where... Let's see if I can find one. I don't think there's any over here. You know, remember in the past two videos, I was going over to the Aurora and I was just shooting rocks out of the ground. You can't do that anymore. That was a card I put up. Which is good, because you didn't really... You shouldn't be able to do that. Those are... Rooted, supposed to be rooted rocks. You should not knock, be able to knock them out of the ground like that. Alright, let's see if we can find the floating islands. Across here, hopefully I'll be right in the zone. Yes, I found it right away. Good, good, good. Now, this place is very big now. I mean, it's always been quite deep. Now, let's see. I don't want to go there. Is that one? Yeah, there's one. But there's about six to seven islands now. This is the top one, as you've always known. For some reason, it has not changed in appearance yet. But the bottom one now has some new textures. Got some different coral, some plants. Uh, is that one over there? Let me get rid of this so you can see. That's the wall. Okay. Actually, I need to count these. I want to see how many there are now, because I'm not really 100% sure. I think there's six, but I'm not totally positive. This the next one is new. Um, it goes really deep. And the, the one at the very bottom is the biggest. Let's see any more out here? No, it's just straight down. Okay. So what was that? One, two, three, four. This is the fourth one. Some of these do have caves. That's the edge of the map there. Edge of the. Probably does not have a cave. Uh, let's see. No. Oh, there's another one. It's five. There's six. The second biggest one. Yeah, real close to the wall on that one. Let's sit over here and look to the side and see if there's one. It's hard to tell. Anything. Oh, there's the wall. Okay. Oh. And there's a there's a illumination weirdness going on right here. See, the lighting has not been manually adjusted in this one area. Let's see, 
will it change right there and suddenly it changes actually I need to make a note of that because I did report this issue but they and they did fix it but this one is still active okay uh, it comes back but it's really hard to see so what was that five so you could see them right there in the darkness was that five six we got seven eight Nine down there. <laughs> See how the light keeps coming back, going, coming back in and out, in and out. It's weird. But there's a lot of awesome. Oh, there's another. Is that a different? Another one over there? Ten? So there's about ten islands now? And this one does have an entrance that you can go down inside. Gets a little too dark in here, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. As long as you got a flash. Oh, I didn't know there was actually an exit down here. Uh, let's go back up. Right there. Yep. Yeah. And suddenly the sunlight comes back out. Keeps fluctuating like mad. Uh, let's go check this one out over here. Is that the cave wall, or is that another one over there? Oh, that's probably the one I went across earlier. They're still being worked on. That's why they're a little barren at the time. Ooh, this one's got an interior. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. It's got two drop downs. This should drop... Ooh, there's the other another big one. And this one has not been fully flushed out. Most of them haven't. Oh wait, this is the big one, I believe, because I remember that crack in it right there. This might be the deepest one. Let's see what that's my two forty one. let's see. Is it Oh, there it is. This is the biggest one. It has the deepest cave inside. It's got some oddities with the uh, sunlight illumination suddenly just popping up in here, which will be fixed eventually. I think it's like right here. No, it's down deeper. Yep, see? Suddenly you got... That's the way the light should look at all times. And then suddenly you have... Sunlight! <laughs> Where is it? What, what? What? Where is that coming from? Oh, there is a hole at the very bottom. Cool. Now this one... If this is the deepest... Yeah, it is. This one is actually connected to the bottom... To the ocean floor. By this long stalactite. Now they've changed this area below... It's, it doesn't look like, you know, the scooped out location it did before in my previous video. And now it's full of geysers. Volcanic vents. It doesn't look like there's any uh, cave down there. That would be cool, though, if there was uh, an underground opening around them that you can swim down and then cut to the side before it explodes. And they're all over the place under the islands. This is essentially where the islands formed. Ripped away from the ground and floated upwards. Which is pretty cool. I think this is the only area... Now they did mention a sparse reef location. I don't know where that's at yet. And neither does Subnautica Wiki. And you can't warp there like you would normally do with like biomes, biome spi sparse war reef. It doesn't work. Yeah. 
Hopefully this location down here will have more in the future. I mean, it's very barren right now. But it's very cool to see some activity going on, though. Uh, where is my... I guess I'll head straight up right here. Maybe I'll hit an island. It's hard to keep track of where they're at. Where's my radar symbols? There they are. There's the aurora. So I'll hit it straight up this way. Maybe I'll come across them again. Yep, there's the base of the big one. Well, one of the big ones. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the big one because here's the crack. The big crack. So it's good identification. You know you're at the deepest island when you see this big crack in it. See better. See the sea. Oh, wondrous sea. Oh, there's another big one. Should have because it's so. Yep, that's it has a cave in it. So it should be like ten to eleven islands, something like that. It's hard to keep track of how many there are. And you can't see them all at once. Is this the one I went into earlier? Yeah. There'll be more vegetation and coral and things like that on them, eventually. There's one over here I don't think I've visited yet. Yeah, he hasn't even been updated. Oh, yeah, he has. It's just popping in when I get close. But he's so small, he doesn't even have a cave in him. I think he's the last one. Yeah, you also have some... The rock walls around. It's over here. Big valley. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, I ran out of juice. If I had my HUD on and my character, you'd see him have rubber arms. This is a deep little valley they're making. I wonder what it's going to contain. Ooh. Sand. They did mention something about fi fin finalizing the sand dunes. Sand dune textures. Uh, I don't know if it has something to do with this area over here or somewhere else. Could be... Oh, the sparse reef. Ah, I bet you the sparse reef is where the... Sea treaders will be at. Because they have to have semi flat ground to move around due to their three stiff legs. Three stiff legs into the wind. <laughs> There's the big. Whoa. Wait a minute. This is somewhat new. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, I'm near the mushroom. Fall. Okay, there's the deep hole. Oh, all right, this place hasn't changed any. Uh, now, they did mention... I thought they said over here there was a big mountain range, although I've never come across it. This is pretty flat. Looks like it's been shaved flat for some reason. be a northern mountain range. Yet, it must be on the agenda of the world plan, because this would be where it's at right here, and there's nothing in the zone just yet. So, it's because you could see... Let's see if I can get you a view. Yeah, there's the aurora, just in the distance right there. You can see it. See there? There. It's very easy to know where you're at when you can spot the aurora. Oh, I'm over here. In the Kush zone. This is another location that has a couple of vents. Thermal vents. Not scattered all over the place, but they're they're here and there. I wish you could blow them up though. <laughs> blow them up. Uh, 
cool looking. Oh wait, I think you can Let's see. No, no, no. I want my knife. Thank you. Oh, jeez. That's the last thing I need to hear. Nope, they're two. Oh yeah, you can see they're two dimensional, so you can't affect them. That's a shame. Yeah, this is a still in work zone. Still being fleshed out over that direction. Guys, I would go too far. I'll just hit the infinity trench again. Let's get rid of that. Now, the, I'm not sure where the. This is a pretty cool location. What is that? Oh, from right there, it looked like a, like a slug or something down there. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where the twisty bridges is going to be at. Looks pretty cool on the idea and implementation of it. But there's one. So there's a vent. That one's been around for a long time, though. I'm guessing the twisty bridges is going to be the other way. See, I'm going north right now, so it's probably going to be over on the south side of the Coral Shallows. Because that, that zone still needs a lot of... It has a lot of expansion room. Not this whole game does, but that location is ripe for more activity. It's pretty cool. It's weird when you're... You go into F6 mode, and you, so you can hide everything. When you're using your CMOS... It causes two headlights. <laughs> Is that a cavern? Uh, not really. Well, no, it's just a little hidey hole. I haven't been over here in a long time. Oh, look. Hey, I, I. <gasps> Hello, I, I. Do you see what I see? Wow, he's rolling around the exterior of it. <laughs> Never seen them do that before. So we're down here. Basically, this is a tour. That's all I'm doing. I'm giving you a tour of the landscape again. Like I did in some of my, some of my old ones. My old videos. If you've, you're a fan of Kurt J. Mack and his FLOB, Farlands or Bus series, and he, he just did his Flobathon, and so far he's he put up two eight-hour videos, the entire Flobathon. I mean, that's, that is nuts. That must have taken forever for him to put up eight-hour videos. Almost seven gigabytes, the other one was eight. I hear you over there. What is this? I'm going to say... Stasis. Nope, Terraformer. I lost that. Oh, okay. Over here. Let's go speed. Little, little acceleration here. Now, if you you can do this with the sea glide, but it, the power glide, but as you've seen in the previous video, oh boy, it uh, you're probably gonna get me. Yep, he got me. Nope, I might have outran him. I outran him. Wow, not bad. Sea Glide is a pretty good little tool. But if you use the Power Glide, it's just so... What the heck was that? Suddenly got the sound of my right... my left ear. What was that? Huh. Uh, it's so loud. It's just harsh to even play with. Also, it, it, it's basically on doing what I'm doing now, you know, using 
speed two. Actually, it felt more like speed three. Let's see, I'll go down here to the red zone. Going south, this is the way. Basically, where I want to go. Ooh! Crown hasn't loaded yet. <laughs> Seamoth? Terraformer. And propulsion cannon. Aha! So, if you want to know where... Why does it do that? If you want to know where a propulsion cannon fragment is, head south to the red... the bloodgrass area region over here. And you'll find some. Let's see, what's this one? Terraformer. And this one? Terraformer. Oh! That is a new sound for them. Finally, I can hear it. Really. <laughs> that, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, nope, I want to go this way. Want to go this way. Okay, we're at the Grand Reef. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Basically. Oh, look at Big crystals. Big crystals. Uh, let's get rid of that. Better view. Now. Hmm. Let's see here. Whoa. Well, this is a big drop. I'm heading north. Wow. I don't remember seeing this drop before. Let's check it out. Okay. We got the... They said these are supposed to explode in the future. I hope they don't because it just... We got too many exploding things in this game. We don't need another one. What have they done over here? Isn't supposed to be. Well, that's actually behind the aurora. There's supposed to be another little uh, mountain range. What? Ooh. This looks new, sort of. No? Could be the. Oh, okay. I'm over by the ancient civilization area. That's what we... Ooh. What's this? Uh huh. Oh. Cool. I don't recall ever finding this location before. Oh, another cave goes through there. Is this a new zone? Could be. Lots of little uh, caves to explore. They don't go very far. See, this is our spawn. Okay, there's spawn, so this is... Uh, it's north... Northeast, so it'd be south... Southwest. Southwest of spawn gives you this weird, this unusual location. Hmm. Not sure what they're doing with it. Look at that. Huh. When the stalagmites and stalactites meet, they join in the middle. Hmm. One little bit of color there. Oh, there's a bit more up here. Flat zone up top. Odd. Ooh, what's this? In and out. So there's not much over here at the moment. What the heck? I'll 
Those are weird looking. Oh! Is that new music? No. Okay. As soon as I heard that, I don't recognize it. <laughs> I think this zone's too new, but it looks like it's been changed. What is this? Huh. Looks like the base for a dwelling. Interesting. What could it be? So you got a top area and a lower. It looks like could it be a cave coming soon. Maybe. If they're working on a zone, you never know. Ooh, wow. Long. Look at this is all open now. Hmm. What could they be planning? It's over here. Actually, this is new music. There's another song with that wee moon type sound in it. Infinity. Uh, Trench. Yeah, it looks. Edge of the map. Don't want to go that way. Can you believe this? I was swimming without my. Whoa, what the? What are they doing over here? Man, they're really chunking the ground out. Huh. Don't cut yourself on the point. Get the. Get the point? <laughs> Do you get the point? I was swimming without my sea glide all this time. That's why I was so quiet. Oh, we've hit a wall. How oh, deep am I? Not, not too deep. Oh, that's strange. That's a sharp edge. Oh, and the monolith. Okay. I see. I get the picture. Where is my... Oh, they're over here. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Here's the edge right here. Actually... Uh, this is a semi-new game, and I'll have a beacon over here to tell me exactly where the monolith is. So definitely need to put one back. So if I dive straight down from here, I should be right at the city. Which is quite deep. But, and... Wrong. Yep, here's the... Uh, Is it? Should be. Yep. Yep. There they are. <laughs> I know my directions. There's the big face. <laughs> Hello. The face looks like you're singing. Oh. That's pretty cool. Back to the city again. So I was actually pretty close looking at this landscape here. That's right. I forgot. I was in the sub the last time. Wow, I cannot believe I'm still not lagging. It's amazing. Oops. There we go. Speed one. Back to normal. Welcome back, Captain. And that's it for the tour. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.